Subscribe to Nick D Plans. All right, what's going on, guys? Nick to Plans. I'm back with another video, and I just woke up. I'm just the cards just went up on 2K DB. I'm here to go over all of them. I'm just gonna take a quick glance at everything here before we get into it. Point guard Ku Coach might be scary. Same thing for Sabonis. Um, so basically, what I'm getting from this is I'm just taking a glance is that there's no glaring overpower at the point guard position, which is good. Which is very good. I'm very happy about that. I don't need an Evan Mobley point guard card, but I do need an Evan Mobley shooting guard card. I can tell you that much. All right, so let's just jump right into it, I guess. Uh, so we got our Vitas Sabonis at the point guard. What's his ball handle? 79 ball handle, Hall of Fame dimer. No clamps, can't get clamps. So that's already an L. Um... Uh, I mean, other than the fact that he can't get clamps, this card probably isn't that bad. Never mind, he has big dribble style. Never mind, this card's ass. No, <laughs> this card's not going to be good at, at point guard. If you want to run him at se center, I mean, shit, he's a 7-3 ruby center. You might as well, but he is not going to be worth running at the point guard position. Now, it's going to be the exact same thing for Earl Boykins here. If you want to run him at the 1, go ahead at the 2. It's completely pointless. But I mean, he's he's what five five. He's so he's not really gonna be fun. But he does. Oh, oh, so that's what they're doing. Oh shit! Ray Allen on very quick, quick dribble style. Yo. Okay. He, is it bad that I think he might actually be pretty good to be used at point guard? Clamps, interceptor. And, Intimidator, Menace, everything except for post playmaker, everything except for Fade Ace and Slippery Off Ball. Hall of Fame mismatch expert? Damn, dude. I actually think this card might be pretty fun to use. I actually think this card might be pretty fun to use because just because of Ray Allen on quick, or very quick, damn. That's actually kind of a W. Next up, we got Kukoc at point guard, who I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited about, to be honest with you. Because if he's good enough, which statistically he looks insane. They didn't, did they give his diamond card more shooting badges? Yeah, they gave his diamond card more Hall of Fame shooting badges than they gave his Amethyst. What the hell? Actually, that makes sense. What am I saying? That makes sense. Animations, Lopez base on quick. Fundamental dribble style, though. That's, that's a little iffy. It's not absolutely terrible, but it's not great. It, like... The thing that's going to make or break these taller uh, shooting guard or point guard cards or whatever is what their dribble style is and how quick their jumper is. That's literally it. Because you, you get a guy like Arvita Sabonis, who we just went over, whose uh, dribble style was, was big. He's not going to be able to move. It's going to be almost pointless to run him at the one. So I'd say don't run him at the one. Next up, we got Ben Simmons. I'm assuming he can't shoot. Yeah, 63-pointer. I mean, I, I can't imagine he's very different than this card or this card. I'm just going to compare them, just because I can. I'm going to compare it to the base version. I can't imagine these cards are very different. Yeah, yeah, they're not. They're, they're, they're not. This is basically, the, the, this, is the, this is the downgraded version of the Pink Diamond. If you want to go pick it up, I'm personally going to, just because why not. Next up, we got Power Forward Center Penny Hardaway. I want to see what the singular Hall of Fame badge difference is between the two of them. I'm annoyed they gave him another diamond. That's that's stupid as hell. So statistics are the same. Sniper. Okay. So so I mean, uh, snipers are pretty good. Ooh, snipers are pretty good badge. I don't really know if it's worth getting the other one for. But I mean, like again, Penny's going to be great, but it's going to be completely pointless to run him because he's only he'd be a six seven power forward, which isn't the greatest. <sighs> I'm 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 a little disappointed in this card specifically because it's penny. At, well, not well. It's a, specifically because it's a diamond is the better way for me to put it. But like I said, guys, I just woke up. Please bear with me as I'm trying to formulate sentences. I mean, he'll be he's gonna be a fantastic card. He's gonna be a fantastic card. It's just the fact that he's gonna be a six seven point guard. Now we have the card that I'm most excited for in this set, Evan Mobley. Shooting guard, small forward, Hall of Fame, limitless catch and shoot, dimer, clamps, and oh my god, I have my new shooting guard. I have my new shooting guard. Because if he moves well, 
if Evan Mobley moves well, which I feel like he will, this is my new shooting guard. This is 100% my new shooting guard if he moves well because I have R.J. Barrett on the bench and this guy is going to replace R.J. Barrett probably. He has fundamental dribble style, but there's something about Evan Mobley, dude. He's got, he's, plus, he's got the release on quick. Uh, dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm very excited for this Evan Mobley card. Very, very excited for this Evan Mobley card. Actually, here, let me, real quick, let me, let me, let me see what is the diamond, or the diamond, the Hall of Fame badge that he doesn't get. Dimer, okay. So I was just, I just wanted to see that real quick. Next up, we have Jimmy Butler, who, shout out to Shmi. You'll, you'll be, he'll be very excited about this. I mean, obviously, statistically, he's going to be cracked. But again, he's a center power forward that's 6'7". There's no reason to actually use this card. He does have shifty dribble style um, and base 22 on quick, which is one of the better releases in the game. Again, it, it, they're, what, what 2K is doing is they're making these cards cracked statistically because they're at shitty positions. Like, no one in their right mind is going to run Jimmy Butler at the 4 or the 5. Other than maybe my buddy Shmi. <laughs> but aside from that, uh, yeah, so I mean, Jimmy Butler will be fun. I don't think it'll be anything insane. Now, this is a car that I think could be really good depending upon the way they go with it. If they if they make Ben Wallace really good, he might be my, my shooting guard. Uh, never mind, no, he won't. He can't shoot that. He can't shoot well enough for me. Base 37 on very quick. <gasps> Yo, Ben Wallace might be my shooting guard. I'm about to give him a dot. Hold on. So I have Rick Carlisle as my coach, so I'll just throw in Curry for an example. So that's a so that plus a plus four diamond shoe. That's an 83 three ball plus Hall of Fame. Um, Hall of Fame. Uh, what you gonna call it? Floor general that moves up to a, a, like high 80s, dude. And give him a couple of shooting guard shooting badges. Damn. He might not be bad. I'm actually very excited to see how this card is just because of that base 37 on very quick. Um, next up, we got Anthony Davis, small forward shooting guard. So depending upon his dribble style, he'll be worth using. Fundamental dribble style. Eh. Anthony Davis, upper and lower on quick. Statistically, he's going to be cracked. We already know that. Hall of Fame quick first step is pretty big. Um... There's no card that's really just like standing out to me, to be honest. Other than Giannis, obviously. Like, like, like when I, when I think about these cards, I mean, hell, for all I know, Ku Coach could be really good, and I'm just underestimating him at the one. But it's like whenever they drop like a really good card at the one, like DeRozan or Jordan, because they're they're really good cards. I haven't even gotten to them yet. And I know they're very good cards. They normally drop a budget option for point guard and yeah i mean you could sabonis isn't even worth using dude has big dribble style not worth using ku coach is the only other thing that, that might be worth using again i think it entirely depends upon how he moves so that, that that's a little i i was hoping for a point guard west on sale like we did in 2k20 but you know damar legitimately might become my my, my bench point guard oh he's so good Defense is lacking a little bit, but I mean, I'm I'm very excited for this Demar card. 86 three ball, everything else seems pretty fantastic. Trey Burke based on quick shifty dribble style. I'm very excited for this card. He might come into my team, and actually, he might replace Jalen Rose as my backup point guard. The team's gonna be getting a little switched around today. Next up, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo, six eleven seven four wingspan. We already know he's gonna be cracked. 83 three ball, so. So, so think about it this way. 83 three ball. You add a plus three coach, a plus four shoe. That's a 94 three ball or 92 three ball plus Hall of Fame floor general. That's a 95 three pointer for Giannis. 95 three pointer for Giannis. Give him a couple extra badges. Oh, he can't get limitless. Oh, he can't get limitless. That's that's pretty good. That's, I'm actually very happy about that. That's pretty good. Every uh, defensive badge in the game. Giannis on quick fundamental dribble style. I mean, I can't tell if fundamental dribble style is like ass or not. You know what I mean? But, I mean, it's Giannis. He'll be good. There's no other way around it. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Michael Jordan, point guard. 94-3. Damn. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I just woke up, so bear with me. Ugh. Damn, dude, he, Jordan on... Oh, no. 
Here comes the very quick releases. Michael Jordan based on very quick, quick dribble style. Wait, is this Park Sigs again? Hold on, hold on. I don't really under. I still don't really understand what the hell Park Sigs are and how like players are not getting them until now. Oh my god, they gave him Park Sigs. They gave Jordan Park Sigs. Are you kidding me? Well, this will be fun. So this will be this will be a fun weekend. So yeah, guys. Um, this is the set. If I'm gonna say what ones to get, uh, obviously. I, I'm going to say all the budget ones, so everything up to diamond. If the pink diamonds are cheap, buy them. And if you're going to buy any of the opals, personally, I'd say go to Rosen. And if you want any of the um, Dark Matters, they're both worth going for. So if you want to get one of them, just pick whatever player you like more or whatever position you're in need of more. So any of the Dark Matters, DeRozan, I'd say get. The pink diamonds, if they're cheap, and then all the budget cards. Like, honestly, this whole set is pretty good. It's, like, worth getting. Um... I feel like it's not as OP as the last couple times we've gotten out of position. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just because I haven't experienced the actual game yet. I don't know. But um, yeah, I think that's really going to be it, guys. Um, down in below in the description is my uh, Twitch link. I'm only six followers away off of 100. So if you guys are new, please go hit that follow button. And if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, I upload 2K content, just re general gaming content. For the most part, 2K. Um, next month, I will be... Or not next month, next week. I will be playing MLB The Show on stream the day it drops, hopefully, as long as I have nothing to do or nothing going on. Um, so I'm very, I'm really looking forward to that as well. I sent in my Elgato to get my new re replacement one for free. So hopefully I'll be able to get new gameplay video guys for you. Um, I know it's, it's, it's been three months plus since I've gotten one out. My Elgato's been broken since the start of the year and it took them a while to get everything situated and figured out. But I should be getting the new one in within, um, within a week or two, hopefully. But um yeah, so like I said guys, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure this make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And uh yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.